hey y'all and welcome back to the channel so today i have a throwback makeup look so i found this video on my phone from a while ago i never uploaded the makeup video um, and i decided that we're not wasting content in 2023 so this is why you guys are seeing this video so it's funny to look back and see like how much makeup has changed even in the last five or so years. Um, this foundation that I'm using is a CoverGirl foundation. They probably don't sell it anymore, but it was like the Vitalist foundation or something like that. Now, why I put all those dots on my face, I have no idea. It also looks like before I put on my primer, I already have my eyebrows filled in, but this was a pretty good match as far as foundation goes. I probably didn't even use half of this foundation, but back in the day or back then when i filmed this video i like to try out a lot of different products and now i feel like i need to go ahead and finish the products that i'm using now y'all don't laugh but i was on this tarte amazonian clay concealer kick which was crazy because when i think about it i don't even like concealer like that but the way this concealer was just you know three shades too light Please don't make fun of me you know this was 2017 style and everybody was doing it everybody was doing it so don't make fun of me this was way too light and <laughs> I'm about to carve out my brows 2016 slash 2017 style um, the way we used to do it back then and it just looks so crazy now because it's way too light it's way too light but anyways, it's, you know, it's just funny because nobody does their makeup like that anymore. I, I feel like makeup was at one point looking real drag and then all of a sudden it came back to looking real natural and wearable. And you know, that's how trends work. They go in and they go out. So, you know, it's just funny like looking back at how people used to do their makeup back then, um, myself included, like this was just I don't even know where I was going probably wasn't even going anywhere um but yeah this was just looking like boo boo the fool like it was just way too much way too much I don't even know what shade I used this all actually looks like four shades too light originally I said three but it looks like four shades too light but anyways I blended it out to the best of my ability. I used to love this little NYX palette, y'all. I don't know if they still sell this, but I just used that contour shade. And it looked like back then I was scared to contour because I'm going way down. And I'm so happy that I've changed my style of contouring now or bronzing, whatever you want to call it, because I was going down. And so my face looked like, you know, it wasn't lifted up the way I would like it to be and the way i was putting the contour really like it was just going down when it should have been going up up and not down i've learned so much since then now this fit me powder i love this fit me powder as well y'all but this is exactly why i don't bake anymore because it was just too much it was too much and i put on way too much i could barely get it off with the brush and maybe that's the look that I was going for as far as how bright I wanted that to be. But you can see here, even when I try to brush it off, it's like, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And that's because the powder was probably too light for me. Um, yeah, it was too light. <laughs> Anyways, I love this Just Peachy palette from Too Faced, y'all. This used to be my jam, these matte shades. And it smelled like peaches it smelled good and i would go in i think i had just gotten the palette when i recorded this video so it was like the newest thing in my collection and i wanted to do a get ready with me so i got all my stuff together and filmed my get ready with me after looking at the footage i probably didn't like it but you know now that so much time has passed i've decided like i might as well just you know post the content um, but yeah, I love this palette.
I also used to love this Anastasia Beverly's Hills palette. I don't remember the name of this. If I figure it out, then I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, that whatever shade that I'm going in with, like honestly, I loved all the shades in that palette. That palette was one of my favorites. Um, definitely one of my favorites. And then y'all remember the brushes that you used to get with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes? It had like a fluffy brush on one end and then an eyeshadow brush on the other end those were the days I have so many of those brushes as well that I still use um, for different you know eyeshadow looks although I don't wear eyeshadow as much anymore but yeah this was when I was really into eyeshadow um, blending and all that every time I would wear makeup but um, yeah I don't wear eyeshadow like that anymore Do y'all remember the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palettes? I love this palette. Even though I feel like looking at it now, there are probably only three shades that I really used to use. Um, I just love the palette and I felt like a real makeup artist, like I could go do anyone's makeup. I also used to love this Makeup Forever Press Powder, the Pro Finish, the Pro Finish Powder. I'm not sure if they still sell this powder. I, I believe they do, but I don't use it anymore. But I love this powder to set the rest of my face. I also love these Black Radiance blushes, which I still have. They're very, very pigmented and they work very, very well. Um, yeah, I love that blush. And then also I'm taking mascara and filling in my brows, which is something I haven't done in years as well, because I just feel like it's way too dark and harsh now on my face. Um, but maybe I'll try that one day. Do y'all remember the Nicole Guerrero palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills? I'm not sure if I still have the palette, but I love this palette as well. You know what? Anastasia Beverly Hills used to have a lot of products that I used on my face. Um, but yeah, I remember this collab and it was really, really cool to see YouTubers getting collabs with major brands and things like that. So... Um, yeah, I tried to support as many people as I could by buying the collabs. And then y'all remember the Mario Badescu spray? Nobody really uses that spray or talks about it anymore. This also used to be one of my favorite lip liners by Jordana. Jordana, I'm sorry. In Coco Loco. And I still have this lip liner. It's still in my collection. Love this lip liner. And then, last but not least, the Kat Von D Liquid Lipsticks this was definitely i wouldn't say a trend because it was people were using these liquid lipsticks for a while but um eventually they faded out and people stopped using liquid lipsticks like that but i loved them when they were in i still have some of my collection whenever i want to dip back into using liquid lipsticks but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one